Morning everybody. It is Monday the 10th of January 2022. Got the day off. Paul's in bed. Jennifer's at nursery and I'm going to go upstairs and read in a bit. Take it easy. I do have some eBay stuff to do. I do have my tax return to do um, today. I can get into my account which is the main thing so I can get in and get it done. So I'm going to go in and get that done today because it's due on the 31st of January. I don't like leaving it this long but it's just the way it happens sometimes you know so i'm not worried about it i'm just a bit tired i might have a doze after i've read for a bit i want to try and make a bit of headway and return the native it's when you're tired it's a hard book to read because there's a lot of words it's very wordy even though it's not a long book only 300 odd pages long it's very wordy at the moment I, I don't know where the plot is um we met two people on the road fine that's fine i get that now we're sitting around with some people and they're just generally having a chat so I'm sure it'll come out in the wash. I might have to read it more than once to get it because sometimes that happens with classics, but I'm not worried. I'm going to poot along with it. I'll do some exercise later on the bike. I did 10 minutes yesterday, so do some more today. Uh, just generally slowly increasing the resistance so that I'm working harder, working smarter. Try and shift some of these pounds. I'll keep you updated. I weigh a lot. I'm not going to tell you how much, but I will tell you if I lose any weight how much I lose. So anyway, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to head up stairs to find my book and actually i'll probably snuggle down in bed with the cat you'll probably come up with me as well won't you me he's a good boy you got the vet this week haven't you went to the wet vet on he doesn't know what it is he's never been because at the moment all the vets here around here they're literally blocked solid with um people that they're not taking on new cases or new patients luckily we heard that he that they would be taken on in in december so we rang in november managed to get him registered which was lucky and but we couldn't get an appointment for him until the 12th of january but that's okay um it's fine other than that they did say we could take him earlier to newport but it's down on me then to drive all the way and find it um oh, he's having a he's playing with his mouse at the moment it's not a real mouse it's a it's a, a catnip mouse it's gone again now. Anyway, I'm going to go to the bathroom and head upstairs. I am editing last week's weekly vlog, so that can go up later today. Looking good. Doing well. Happy. Is it squishy? Nope. Yeah. Jennifer's home. Having an ice cream. Good girl, aren't you? Check all her lunch. Do that. Right. Done my tax return. Started drafting a few eBay bits and do some more. Done do some exercise bike in a minute. Gonna stick some pictures what? in your book soon. Okay, there. Right, finish your ice cream That's first, don't we? Right. You like your ice cream, don't you? Are you chocolate? Yeah. It's kind of cute, though. I'm gonna get the caramel one. I'm getting the caramel one. Okay. You're pretty girl. Yeah. She's good at nursery, so it's all good. I'm gonna get back to drafting while she's eating her ice cream. Okay, guys, it's evening. Jennifer's in bed. Paul is watching the FA Cup because Manny were playing and. Uh, I've got to wrap his present up if I can find it. Oh, I can see it's over there. It's fine. Right out his birthday house. This is his birthday tomorrow. And then I, I'm going to re read this one. Which, of course, I found on BookTok. So I'm going to read that. I mean, I am still reading The Return of the Native. And I will probably read a bit of that later. But I, I really want to read this one. Because I'm probably going to Waterstone tomorrow where I bought it. And... The girl might, might remember and ask me what I thought of it and I haven't read it yet, so <clears throat> I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to, i got this card for Jennifer to give Paul and I'm going to give him this one and uh, yeah, so I'll check in with you again before I head off to bed. Done, I've done hardly any colour in this month again. I mean, it's only saying that it's only the 10th, but um, I've just been so tired. I'll probably film a current video tomorrow, potentially, I think. Tomorrow night. Ooh, okay, we have gone. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to crack on. Get that. I don't really want to wrap up this stuff. I hate wrapping. I've had enough of wrapping because of Christmas. I'll do it again now. At least when it's Jennifer's birthday. I'll have Paul to help me do it. We will do it tomorrow. Uh, not the wrapping, but we'll we'll be looking for presents for her tomorrow. And we're going to uh, 
TGI's we've booked, I've booked a table for TGI's for one o'clock and then we've got two hours to have lunch and get back to pick her up from nursery. That'd be nice. And then his mum's coming over at half past three. I hope so. I'm dribbling. <laughs> I did do uh, 12 minutes on the bike, a bit more of that because it's warming up and I'm cooled down. Uh, so it's good. I'm still doing the bike. I will do a bit more of that. I'm going to wrap up this present. Do you know what? So I can just chill out and read my book. I'll see you in a bit. Morning, it's Tuesday the 11th of January. It's Paul's birthday. Hooray, happy birthday. Jennifer's at nursery. We're going to go out and have a wander in the shops a bit and some lunch. Be taking you with us, obviously. He's upstairs getting ready, I think. I've just been at the shed to package a camera I've sold. I'm just going to put the address on now. It's going to Broadway GSP. So I'm going to do that so we can drop it off when we pick Jen up after we've had some lunch. So I'll see you in a bit. Happy birthday, Paul. Hello. We're in Newport. We're having a coffee at what's it place? What's it called? It's coffee. Got a name. It has got a name. I just don't know what it's called. Coffee, coffee something. Coffee corner. Coffee corner. We haven't tried this one. I've got tea. Paul's got a cappuccino with chocolate sprinkled on the top and we've both got our bacon and sausage buddy before well, we have a wander around we'll go to the entertainer and look for presents for Jennifer's birthday Waterstone see if there's any other books you fancy thank you um see if trout mark's open if ever <laughs> if ever we've got lunch booked for one o'clock at TGI thank Fridays because we love it don't we yes, do. time for Paul's birthday lunch mm -hmm. what have you got uh, it's, a, it's a steak, it's the TGI medium special. Medium TGI steak, <laughs> chips and garlic butter sauce. Yum, yum. <laughs> I've got what I always have, full rack of ribs. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> barbecue. Yamola. And we, we didn't buy much. I bought some books and some pens and that's it. And some presents. And some presents for Jennifer, but I'm not counting that because yeah. it's true. Thank you. Thank you. Her birthday present. <laughs> Tuck in, Paul. Good morning, it is Wednesday the 12th of January. I didn't finish the vlog yesterday. We were absolutely in a right state last night when we got back. I was in agony with my back, absolutely shattered. Um, we chilled, had a drink and some, you know, got Jennifer, came home and then Paul's mum came round for a bit. When she went, I came upstairs and had a little sleep, only for an hour. Got up, did Jennifer some dinner and had a snack. Paul had a snack. Um, Put Jennifer to bed, came up to bed uh, just after eight, and the light off at nine, and I went straight out. The first one I woke up oh, was at ten. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's only ten o'clock, right, okay. So I had a really good sleep. I'm just getting ready for work now. Um, yeah, my password needs to change. How long have I got? Oh, I've got eight days, I'll do it later this afternoon then. Uh, yeah, so today's plan is obviously work. Um, pick up Jen and pop to mum and dad's for a couple of hours and then quarter to five I'm taking Zed to the vet for a checkup, see how he is. So I'll be fine, won't I? And I see really all that else happening today. Didn't read anything last night, I was just too tired. I was planning on it, but I was absolutely shattered, so That's how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to get on to get my stuff set up and do some work and I'll see you later. Apologies for not vlogging again today. Nothing much has really happened. Finished work. Got Jen. Went to my dad's. Had some stew. Came home. Chilled. Took Zed to the vet. Found out he wasn't a boy. He's actually a girl. Which I had my suspicions about for a while. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. He's, she's fine. She had inoculation. She's had a microchip been put in and um done her fleeing booked her in to be done next week and she's got to go back on the 2nd of february to have her second set of inoculations after that she can go outside if she wants but i'm going to try not to i want to try and keep her in i don't want to lose her a friend of mine lost a cat a few weeks ago um and it's just too dangerous out there so at the moment she doesn't seem bothered I've gone outside in the back garden and she's not even sat by the back door looking at me looking for me she's just stayed in the kitchen she's just stayed in the front room she could have got out if she wanted if she hasn't even tried but hey you never know I get to do a bit of swatching because I'm still trying to swatch various pencils I'm really tired and I'm gonna read for a little bit as well and 
dry my hair. I'm going to dry my hair first, obviously. So, that being said, I'm going to call it a night. I'm still reading Evelyn Hugo because I didn't read anything last night, but I'm determined to have a good chunk of that tonight. I may even finish it because this is me we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, I want to do a bit more of Return the Native. The next one I want to do is I want to read Eenie, Eenie Meenie by MJ Arledge, which is up on the tops, one of the really old ones that's been hanging around for a long time. And I've got a £25 gift voucher to put on my Amazon account, which I haven't done yet, and then I can order next month's Stephen King. I could order a classic. But I've already got several classics on my shelf. For instance, I've got Rome by Emil Zola. I've got The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. I've got How Green Was My Valley by, uh, what's his name? Llewellyn. And what else have I got up there? There's a few. Dracula, although I have read it. I have got Dracula, I would like to read that again. Uh, there's a few up there, I can't think of any of them offhand, which is pretty bloody typical really isn't it uh, but yeah there's a few up there so I know uh, what else there's loads up there there's some more I've got three or four classics um yeah so I'm just going to read this one I'll only order a classic when I actually need to I want to try and crack on with some of what I've got up here rather than just buy new books for the sake of it because oh I'm doing this challenge I've got to read something like Frankenstein now it's one of the books I want to read this year but I can leave it for a bit I don't want to be buying books for the sake of it I want to try and get rid of some of the books on the top of that in which case I'm also going to pull down the first book in that huge long series that follows this family through every generation I haven't got book one I've only got book two but these books you can still start in any book it's missing a book somewhere in the middle if I like book two I might try and get book one to go back a generation um if I'm not so keen I should just get rid of them but that's it anyway i hope you enjoyed this day tomorrow hopefully will be better so what am i doing tomorrow it's thursday so she's in till three which means i finish at one i've got two hours then to do a bit of whatever i want so i want to do a bit of ebay i'm going to make a coloring video and then i'll make one tomorrow night as well um so yeah so i will be doing some uh ebay photos probably clothing um i'll probably only do five or six because i have got some that i need to get drafted and I might even try and measure them and put them away as well. That way they can just go in a bag, ready to go into the shed. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to stop waffling because I'm not telling you anything new. See you later. Good morning. It's Thursday, whatever it is. 13th of January. I'm not with it today. I must admit I stayed up a bit late reading this last night and I finished it. I absolutely loved it. it. Made me cry. I'm not gonna lie, it made me cry. I absolutely loved it. It's a fantastic book. I really recommend it. Um, I'm knackered now. I will take off the Waterstones label at some point. But yeah, recommend this. Really, really good. Beautifully written. Very descriptive of Hollywood. It made me feel of 50s, 60s Hollywood. It, it, it did ring true that some people were the things people will go to for, to get what they want she wanted to get away from poverty and hell's kitchen and be a star in hollywood like her mum wanted to before she died and she did it like she, she doesn't regret what she did but there are things she, you know she would have done different, differently i'm sure even though she says it wasn't but it was the times that she lived in you'd have to read it i'm not going to tell you anything about it because i don't want to spoil it I, I want you to read it it's a really good book so if you haven't read it seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jenkins reed now i've heard things about uh, daisy jones and the six and, and some people don't like her other books but i would be willing to try them because based on uh, that one anyway i've got to get ready for work i'll see you in a bit Hey everyone again, I haven't vlogged today because I haven't been able to do very much. My back has been really painful all day. Um, ever since Tuesday it's just been really bad. I just thought it's cut me in half. Um, I might have pulled something. If I'm not feeling better by Monday I'll have to ring the doctors. Um, so basically all that happens is picked up Jennifer. That was it. Um, sorted some washing out. At dinner. That's it. I haven't done anything. I'm going to try and read for a bit. 
clean my bed off because I've got a few bits on it and um, I might watch a bit of TV because I was watching a video earlier and I want to carry on watching it. So I'm going to do that and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully I'll feel a bit better tomorrow. Good morning, it's Friday, 14th of January and I'm a bit wheezy this morning. Um, it's very cold out and uh, I had to the ice the car, it's freezing, it's literally freezing. And uh, it's brought on an asthma attack and I'm very wheezy. I'm just getting ready to start work. Uh, let's see how it goes because I'm not feeling brilliant at the moment. If I can't get this under control quick enough, I'll have to tell them I can't work. But I, I should be alright in a few minutes. Um, I've got still got 12 minutes before I'm due to start, so I'm not worried. Um, uh, yeah, it's cold out there and that's not good on my asthma. I'm just up the ice of the car. At least I'm off for the next three days after today. Whew. Weekend, got Monday off. Anyway, plan for today is obviously work, go shopping with Dad, take him shopping, pick Jennifer up and then see what happens this evening. Not a lot, probably. Might play, do some jigsaws or something or play play with a Peppa Pig. I don't know. See what she wants to do. And read more. Excuse me. Of, um... Return the Native. I have ordered next month's Stephen King book is arriving today and it will be The Stand, which I know is a huge book, but I want to read it. So I've heard good things, I've heard bad things, but I like King, so I'm probably not going to struggle with it. The only ones I struggled with was The Dark Tower, because that's not normally my sort of um, book, fantasy, western, but I actually really loved it anyway, so I'll probably reread that at some point. Absolutely loved the Dark Tower series, so. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you afterwards and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, it's Saturday and yeah, nothing's been happening so I haven't been vlogging. I will give you a reading update. We're going out in a bit so I'm just getting dressed. I am now making headway through Return of the Native. It is actually getting a bit more interesting now. It's a slow start but I'm hmm, getting quite invested with some of the characters. It's, uh, yeah, I'm on page, just around page 100. There's 412 pages, but and I was thinking I'm struggling with this. I might have to DNF it, and that's unusual because I love Thomas Hardy. But now we're actually getting to the story, which is going to be a love square by the sound of it. Um, it's it's quite good. I've also started re a reread, my first reread of the year, and there is a specific reason for this. And I'm rereading My Sister Marilyn, a memoir of Marilyn Monroe by Bernice Baker Miracle and Mona Ray Miracle. As you know, last year I did begin rereading all my Marilyn Monroe books. It's a slow process, I'm not gonna go mad with it. Um, and I've read, I think, three or four. And I was reading them in order that they are on the shelves and I still can't find Bombshell. It's around, I will have a look for it later. I need a bit of tidying up to do so. But the reason I started rereading this is, for, for, for years, nobody has heard from Bernice or Mona Ray. Um, the assumption was that Bernice was still alive at over just over 100. She would have been 100 in 2019. It came to light yesterday that she actually died on the 25th of May 2014. But her family, the remains of her family, didn't make a big fuss about it, which is fair enough. They were always a very private family anyway. Um, and this was their big outing into the the world of Marilyn Madness. Um, we still don't know anything about how Mona Ray is. She would be 82 now, ish. 82 going on 83, I think. So she might have passed as well, but we don't know. So we don't know for sure. She has got a plot, it has got a marker, but it's only got her date of birth on it. It hasn't got a date of death on it. But then, as far as I'm aware, she didn't have any children. Would there be anybody to put it on a marker? I don't I don't really know the ins and outs of the family. Um, but anyway, so I started a reread in tribute of the lovely Bernice. And uh, yeah, this one will take me very little time to get through. Just simply because it's a lovely read. It's a very simple read. Um, and I haven't got a marker in it, but I know pretty much where I am already. I will find, I'm, I've got a mark for it. I just haven't picked one up yet. There's some around. So we are going to go up the tower, as Jennifer calls it. We're going to go into Newport. I don't really want to go because we went on Tuesday, but she wants to. So 
she wants to that's fine as long as she's happy gets us out of the house gets us a bit of exercise so I haven't got much money to spend Paul said if I want something he'd buy it for me he's really sweet like that but I don't want that um it's only because payday's on a really odd day because we're paid the last working day of the month not the last say Friday of the month or the 15th of the month Paul's paid on the 15th so he's just been paid because he would have been paid yesterday and um but yeah, so um, I don't get paid till the 31st, so it's a Monday. So yeah, so another two weekends, yeah. And I've got to have my hair done in that point as well, and that's not cheap. I will make sure there's enough in my account for that, so. Anyway, uh, my mum does owe me some money, so there's that coming in as well. Got to pay off my Amazon credit card. I have now switched it, because I've got an Amazon Platinum card. It was there for when I bought stuff from Amazon, but I've now switched it back to coming directly out of my bank account rather than using that for it. Just so I get it cleared, then I'll put it back. You do get points, you do get vouchers and stuff. I'm at the moment got, I spent some, didn't I? Around £12 or something on my Amazon gift cards, because I had a gift card the other day. A two from various things I do. So that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to get ready and I'll see you in a bit. You're scared of these things before. Jennifer wanted to ride on the machine, even though we just spent £13 on a PJ Masks toy for us. Hello. Are you driving? Mm. Good girl. <laughs> okay guys, it is getting up for half eight. Jennifer's not in bed yet, Paul's out, so she's having a late night tonight playing while I've been cleaning, well, attempting to start cleaning the kitchen and sorting stuff out. So it, it's just such a mess, it's hard to stay on top of everything with a four year old because every time she puts something away, she get, you put something away, she gets it back out again. Her toys are all mixed up again. Not that I care, but Paul likes something with some sort of order. Paul's birthday presents are still lying all over the floor, including the sonus his mother bought him. And I found lots of sliced cheese wrappers all over the kitchen because somebody hasn't bothered to put them in the bin. Now, I don't eat sliced cheese. In fact, I don't eat cheese unless it's on a pizza. So I don't like it. I don't like cold cheese. I'm just a bit strange that way. But I've actually, I think, found them all. And I found containers for things. I've put the cat kibble in a, one of those big tall cereal dispenser things that you, you know, that you put things like that in. I found a tub to put her pouches in. I found a pot to put the bloody lollipops madamas in so that they're not rolling all over the place being chased by the cat. I've thrown all the way the, the bits from last night's McDonald's, I think. Emptied the bin, emptied the recycling bin into the main recycling bin. And I'm sweating, so when Paul comes home, I'm gonna sit down and have a beer, and then I am gonna have a shower before bed. I like having a shower before bed. There are sweets everywhere. There are sweets all I, I, I just can't. I, oh, talk about shit, Mum's got. So I feel right now because I just cannot keep up. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get her up to bed now. And I'll see you in a bit. I finally got Jennifer to bed. I don't know what time it is. Hang on. Let's see what time it is. I'm knackered. I've left my book in the other room. It's caught to nine. She's normally in bed by now. But she's in bed now. I've got a Brothers Wild Fruit Cider, which I'm going to drink. After I've had a Magnum ice cream while watching Adventures with Purpose, because Paul will be home soon. And then before bed, I'm going to have a nice shower. Because I'm all sweaty from trying to clean the kitchen a little bit. It's not finished, only one part of it done, but I can't do any more tonight. I'm knackered and I'm, I'm hurting. And the, Cats attacking boxes in the uh, other room. I'll see you in a bit before I go to bed, let you know I'm getting on with the reading. Right, Sunday night. Jennifer's asleep, Paul's home as you can hear. Zed's deciding where she wants to sleep. I'm going to bed. Yes, I bought this today. Because I have not read a single Colleen Hoover book, so this one looks quite good. I've seen it on TikTok. People said they either love it or hate it. It's a bit of a mom, I think. But I'll give it a try. No, I'm up for anything, and uh, the cover's kind of nice. So, but I have I'm not going to reread it anytime soon. But obviously, I've got these two on go. Make the uh, Marilyn book, and of course, Return of the Native, which is getting quite interesting. 
Um, so I'm going to read that for a bit before I go to sleep. So it's on Sunday tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. Um, Paul and Jennifer downstairs. I've just had a shower, so I'm going to dry my hair. And then we're going to go get dressed, go out and do our shopping. There's lots to do today because I want my morning to be free tomorrow. So, <laughs> shopping, put the shopping away. I've got a load of washing to put on, which I'll put on before we go out. And it'll be in the dryer when we come back. And I learn I'll probably have another load because I want to change the bed sheets today as well. So I'll have at least two more loads. So I'll probably get two of them done today and then one from the one in the morning. I'm not worried about that because I can put it in the dryer in the afternoon when I finish work. So if I'm not at work, I've got the morning off. And I literally want to spend the morning in bed with cups of tea and reading. I'm going to try and read a lot more of the Return of the Native, which is getting quite good and my sister Marilyn. That won't take me long when I get going on it. I know I'm going to finish it quite soon. I've got a book on my Kindle I need to finish which is uh, an arc for NetGalley. So I'll finish that. I do want to write a couple of reviews up on my blog. I do want to do some work on my blog. I haven't done it for ages. Literally the last thing I reviewed on my blog was the, the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman and it's been such a long time but I do want to start writing reviews again. Um, for Not for every book I read, for a lot of books I read. So for instance I will do uh, revisiting this one just because um, and obviously I've got, I want to do one of the Midlight Library, I want to do one of Evelyn Hugo, one of The Man Who Died Twice. So that's three reviews already and I've already got I think there's going to be two other posts that I want to put up, so that's five. I want to finish a wartime secret so I can get that blog ready for for publication because that's going to be published soon. I will check the publication date on NetGalley for that one. Once I've done that one, I'll request another arc from them. I'm not going to get over the top because my problem is I request them and I don't read them, so I'm just going to request them a couple at a time. That way, if I don't get them, it doesn't matter. I can go and request something else. So... Excuse me, I've got a bit of a sniffle. I'm going to get my hair dry, uh, get dressed and go. I am looking forward to starting this one. I, I really want to know what it's about because there's been a lot of hype about it. So the question is, do I read this? I really want to read Eeny Meeny, though, which is an old book, I know, but I really want to read it. And it also gets one off of my huge pile on top of the cupboard, which I really want to get down. <laughs> so lots of reading going on. Like I said, this is getting interesting. I'm about... A third of the way through it now. About that. We're getting there. I, I had a little read last night. But like I said, tomorrow I am spending the morning curled up in bed because Paul will be working downstairs. I can put the TV on if I want to. I can put some music on if I want to. I can listen to an audiobook if I want to. But that, my plan is to try and get through as much as Return of Native as possible because I just want to sit down, curl up and just read. I haven't done that for ages. I don't get much time. It was an extra day's leave that was given to me to do with the way my hours worked out with Rand Bank holidays, which we get every year. So I was owed an extra four and a half hours. So I'm taking tomorrow as a me day and I'm literally just going to read. I might colour a bit as well because that's my other hobby as you know um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it anyway I'll see you in a bit I've got to get this hair dry so we can go shopping it's Sunday night everybody's in bed apart from me and Paul well that means Jennifer's in bed so it's down here I've got a glass of wine we're gonna watch Finders Beepers and eat some rubbish yeah it's all good except for the nursery class is closed tomorrow because uh, the teachers got COVID so who knows so yeah that's it for the day um not a lot happened I had a shower, I had a rest. Jennifer came up and cuddled up to me because she wanted to be with me, which was really sweet. We had tea. And then watched Finders Beepers History Seekers after we put Jennifer to bed. And also, I'm trying to think, Adventures with Purpose. Some more of those. And they're the only ones I'm watching before they started trying to find lost loved ones. So when they were first just doing their treasure hunts, it was just Jared on his own. and. So it's going to be interesting to see how it develops and so on. But that's it, that's another wee hoover. Um, I guess I've got tomorrow off. So, uh, we'll see what happens with the nursery. Because the school's shut, or her class is closed, um, cancelled. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Bright Minds, see what they can do for us tomorrow. Because it's not going to be worth me taking her down if I've got to pick her up at nine, which is when she'd go to school. So then take her back down at 11 for her to pick up at 1. It's not worth it. 
but it's difficult because I've got training courses this week, I've got to take mum to the um, GP surgery to have a booster shot, I've got to pick up Zed from the vets on Tuesday when she's had her operation. Paul's taken down in the morning, let's <laughs> see how that goes. It's got one of them rucksacks, if I can I'll show you. But anyway, I am uh, going to call it a night and then I'm going to edit this tomorrow. I'll see you soon. Hopefully next week will be a bit more exciting. Can't guarantee it though. It's just life.